Hello everyone, today in this video, I will show you how to create a team site in SharePoint Online without the Microsoft 365 group connected easily. What happens is when you create a team site using a SharePoint Admin Center or If you create a team from Microsoft Teams, automatically a Microsoft 365 group gets created. But in many cases, this group is not needed. So here I will show you a technique on how to create a team site without the Microsoft 365 group. So let's get started. So this is my admin center, SharePoint Admin Center portal, and I have clicked on this active sites, then clicked on this create button. Here we'll get two options to select a site template. From these two options, either we can select the team site or communication site and what does this team site offer? Team site. It creates a private space to collaborate with your team, track and stay updated on project status, share team resources and co-author content. All site owners and members publish site content. It can connect to other Microsoft 365 products. This is the catchy point. We generally, without thinking or without our actual requirement, blindly go ahead with this option and create this team site. So if you create the site using this template in the Microsoft 365 product ecosystem, many components will be created like team and Microsoft Teams, Outlook mailbox, calendar, and planner. I have explained this in detail in my article. You can read this. I've explained what happens when we create a team site with and without a Microsoft 365 group. With Microsoft 365 group site created, automatically generates a Microsoft 365 group, which provides additional resources like an Outlook mailbox, calendar, and planner. Site created with no Microsoft 365 group. Only the SharePoint site is created without additional resources or applications tied to a Microsoft 365 group. You can read my article where I have explained these very detailed. Site with Microsoft 365 group and site without Microsoft 365 group. So now one more thing I will show you. You can go through this article as well I have written this article. When to choose a team site or communication site. I have explained in this article. If you are confused about your decision whether to choose a team site or communication site, this article will give you a heads on. Okay, so I'm not getting into that. I'll share the article URL in the comment section. You can refer to my article from there. Now, let's come back to the agenda of this tutorial. Here, I want to create a team site without Microsoft 365 Group Connected. So for that, what you need to do is until this. Follow the same step as you have been following up. Go to this option. You'll get it at down. Browse more sites. Select another site, such as a publishing portal or a non-connected team site. Let's click on this. Now I can see that my team site template is selected here. Also, you can see many other templates as well, but don't change the team site template. Make sure your template is team site here. This team site is different than the other team site we just discussed. This team site is without group connected. 
So let's read this out, what exactly this means. A site for a team of people to share content. When they work together, this option does not create a Microsoft 365 group, shared Outlook inbox, shared calendar, OneNote notebook, or planner plan. So this is what I need here. This approach gives us flexibility to create a site without Microsoft 365 group connected. Now, I will go ahead with my team site creation without the Microsoft 365 group. Name your team site. I've named it team site without Microsoft 365 group. The site URL will be auto-generated. However, you may change it. That's it. I am not passing the site description as this is an optional parameter. However, this is not recommended for site governance. You must describe your site. As I said, you can change this URL as well. This is auto-generated. I'm not gonna change this. Now I selected the mandatory primary. Administrator parameter. So I'm done with the parameter passing stuff for the site creation. I'll just click on the next button. Here you can select your language for your team's site. For me, it is English. However, you can select your needed language from the list, then select your time zone from the list. Then, click on the Create Site button. My site creation process started. It takes a little bit of time to get it provisioned. Wow, my site got created. Now what I'll do is, I will filter my site here to get my new site which I created just now. Let me find this out. I am filtering the active sites report. Yes, this is the site I just created. Now I can see the other parameters. Yes, this is not connected to Teams. For the template, we can see it is no Microsoft 365 group. So this is confirmed, and this is not connected with a Microsoft 365 group with this site creation. Or we can say no Microsoft 365 group has been created. Now let's click on this. Site. You can see the look and feel here. You can either set up this template now, or you can set it up later. I will just cancel it. This is my team site. It looks like the other team site, which is Microsoft 365 Group Connected. And this site will be used for your collaboration with your team members. That's all. This is a simple but new technique if you don't know this. You can use it in your work. So, blindly, don't create a team, site with Microsoft 365 group. As I told you in the back end, a lot of other components will be created in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. That will burden your SharePoint governance. So let's not follow that, and that's not recommended either.
Before creating a team site, first you design whether you need a Microsoft 365 group connected site or if it is just a normal team collaboration site. That's all for today. I hope you learn a new technique today. Please consider subscribing to my channel and help me to grow on this journey. In the upcoming days, I will come up with many trending videos on latest technologies like Gen AI, Microsoft Copilot, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate Machine Learning, SharePoint Online, and many more. Thank you.